The following was developed by public education agencies in association with the Agency for Instructional Technology. Together, programming for today's learner. Networks of communication link people together through time and space. This satellite system, for instance, allows people in different parts of the world to see the same auto race at the same time, live. In Japan, the bullet train provides a network of transportation that also links people together with the help of computerized control boards. Here, a computer keeps track of the subway system. Transportation and communication systems weren't always this advanced. The desire to move goods and people from place to place as rapidly as possible has resulted in major changes in transportation systems. Worldwide communication systems have also changed because of the desire to move ideas from place to place as rapidly as possible. Let's examine the effects of these changes in transportation and communication by asking the question, why is the world shrinking? We will focus on Australia, a country in the region of Australia, New Zealand. The region of Australia, New Zealand is remote from the rest of the world. For this reason, transportation and communication links have always been important to the people who live there. Distance between places can be measured in miles and kilometers, but it can also be measured in travel time. A trip by air from Brisbane, Australia to Los Angeles, California covers 7,165 miles or 11,531 kilometers and takes 15 hours. With improvements in transportation and communication, the distance between places in miles and kilometers doesn't change, but the travel time does. From months, 
to days to hours. These transportation and communication improvements have had the effect of bringing Australia closer and closer to other places in terms of travel time. This has allowed Australia to move from an isolated location right into the center of things. Through improvements like direct distance dialing, connecting it with places like the United States. Good morning, Parkland Wholesale Plows. Hello, is that Ron Walker? It certainly is. Hi, Ron. This is Ellis Floral from Bloomington, Indiana in the USA. From Bloomington, Indiana in the US. That's right. What time is it there? At the moment, it's about 8 a.m. Wednesday morning. We've just opened for business, mate. Ron, how's the weather in Australia? Very hot at the moment. The, it's the middle of our summer. What can we do for you? Listen, Ron, it's almost closing time over here. I'm wondering if you can supply me with 50 dozen carnations. I've got a lot of orders for this weekend. Right, you wanted 50 bunches of carnations for the weekend. When did you require them for? Well, if we can have them for the weekend, that would be just fine. Listen, the availability should be okay. I'll just have to check the Qantas flight schedules and so on. Just, just hold the game, please. Wednesday, Wednesday, flight 40. Look, it should be okay via Qantas flight 40, which leaves Brisbane at 1 p.m. today. With connections to the US, it should arrive in Bloomington, Indiana on Thursday morning, your time. Because you mustn't forget, you have the international dateline to consider. Okay, thanks a lot, Ron. That's Thursday morning, your time. Um, listen, could you advise the consignment details, please? Sure, here are the details. Ellis Floral, Bloomington, Indiana. Airport code BMG. Air, phone number, triple five, three, two, seven, two. Right, I've got those details. We'll be pushing for time because we have deadlines, but at the moment we expect to be able to help you. If there's any difficulties, we'll contact you as soon as possible. Thank you. Bye now. need some help down here. What's the rush? Can you take these back to the shed for him? We've got a big order to go out in an hour. I've got to go by plane to the US. How's it going? Almost finished? Yes. Great. Last bunches. We've got to get going because we're late. Dad, how come people in America want to buy flowers from us in Australia? At the moment, summer here in Australia, it's winter in America. Our flowers are growing and producing well and really nice. With communications and modern transport, we've got fast planes, direct and so on. We can have product to them when they want it, how they want it, just when they need it. So that makes it nice and simple. Quick, we're almost finished, we're in a hurry. Uh, do those last bunches, pack them in, we can close up and go. the flowers from Parkland. Yes, they're going to America. All right, your office rang and advised us. Can we just put them on the scales down here? Yes, here.
Air freight is making the world a smaller place in terms of time and distance. Uh, we're sending goods late afternoon flights arriving in Europe and the USA early the next working day. For instance, we have uh, pecan nuts to Hong Kong, salads to Singapore, drugs to the US, and machinery through to Frankfurt. The flowers are transported from Australia to Los Angeles. From there, a smaller plane takes them to Bloomington, Indiana. Carnations are beautiful. Will they stay fresh for me? Well, certainly in this cold weather, they have to. Oh, that's great. Thank you very much. How is it possible for a flower grower to send freshly cut carnations from the southern hemisphere, where it's summer, to the northern hemisphere, where it's winter? It's possible because he's able to take advantage of long-distance telephone lines and rapid air freight. Today, he can sell flowers all over the globe. You have seen how transportation and communication systems bring people in Australia closer to others. How about people in other parts of the world? In Cancun, on the Yucatan Peninsula of Mexico, there are ancient pyramids, beautiful beaches, and ocean. Until recently, however, these attractions were difficult to reach. Today, because of improvements in transportation, they have been brought much closer to other parts of the world in travel time. As a result, winter-weary tourists can now enjoy them. In the Canadian province of Nova Scotia, modern transportation and communication have expanded the lobster fishermen's markets by bringing other parts of the world closer. Today, live lobsters from Canada can be sent to France overnight. United States, many people in small towns and large cities depend on the bus to travel from place to place. For them, the bus is the only affordable means of transportation. But what happens when bus routes are canceled? For the people traveling between these places, the world is not shrinking. In these cases, changes in transportation have moved places farther apart. You have seen how changes in transportation and communication systems usually bring people closer together, but sometimes move them farther apart. How are these people's lives affected by changes in transportation and communication?